welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install an NVMe M.2 solid state drive in the OWC U2 Shuttle 1. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free work surface. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to remove these four Phillips screws from the bottom of the Shuttle 1. You can then remove the bottom cover plate by lifting up by this corner near the drive's U.2 connector. Next, remove the drive retainer screw. The Shuttle 1 can take M.2 SSDs of several different form factors. 2880 is the most common and is what the card is set up to use by default. However, if you have another form factor card, there are other options available. There is a notch in the M.2 connector on the SSD that corresponds to a pin in the slot in the card. Align the two and slide them together. Then, secure the drive with the Phillips screw you removed earlier. For M.2 SSDs of a different form factor, you'll need to move the drive post. First, set the drive roughly into place to determine which hole you need to move the post to. Then, simply lift the post up and place it on the position you want. You can then secure your drive in place with the Phillips screw as before. Make sure the thermal pad on the back of the cover is aligned to be directly over the drive you've installed. Then, set the cover into place and secure it with its four Phillips screws. Your OWC U2 Shuttle 1 is now ready to install and use. 